everyone. On this week's questions for Carrie, I want to answer the question I get from buyers on when can I move in? So I'm Carrie Keeper Fisher with Five Star Real Estate. So you finally got to close on the property. Do you actually get to walk away with the keys? It depends. So when we first place your offer to the seller, part of your offer will include how we're going to take possession and when. So sometimes you'll walk away from closing with a set of keys. And sometimes we actually will give the seller possession after closing. So the possession, when we place your offer, could depend on a couple factors. Sometimes a seller, when they sell, they need time to get from one home to the next. So we may have to negotiate with them to give them a day or two or three, sometimes up to 60 days possession after closing so that they can go find something else and or move into something else once they've sold. So um, I would say, if you're in a multiple offer situation where you're competing with other buyers, we will sometimes use that, that days of possession that we give the seller as something to make your offer more attractive. So that is one of those pieces that we'll work with you on how do we need to be creative to offer that to the seller and how much time is, is appropriate. You know, it might be something that you're offering to the seller free of charge. And it might be something where we've actually charged them some type of rental situation. It depends on the length of time we give them. So, your answer is it really depends, either at closing or whatever amount of time we've negotiated with the seller up front. So if you have more questions, we can talk through it. I'm Carrie Kiefer Fisher. Give our team a call at 269-633-9243.